is 615 and I know you know temps are higher right now I enjoy that but some folks want that fall <laughs> feel to come back well enjoy the mornings because yeah. those are a little bit on the cooler mm -hmm. crisp side uh, but yeah the afternoons are going to be warm for the next several days we could challenge records tomorrow the okay. record is 82 uh, and rain that is something else we could use and we do have a cold front that will bring temperatures back to reality by the end of the week but in the meantime, it's not going to produce a lot of rain, so deficits will continue to grow. For the month, we're approaching two and a half inches. For the Hartford area, and going back to the beginning of meteorological autumn, that's back to September 1st, 6.2 inches behind. And at one point for the year, we had a surplus of around nine and a half inches every day. And since then, we've been really uh, chipping away at that. So just a surplus of 1.37 inches so far since January 1st. So uh, again, chances for rain over the next seven days, very, very slim. Uh, temperatures compared to this time yesterday, a couple degrees milder for a few towns inland, uh, a couple degrees cooler elsewhere. So uh, not, you know, basically near where we were at this point yesterday. We've got 30s and 40s across Connecticut. Uh, so uh, a chilly start, a calm wind, a clear sky. But as the day progresses, as soon as the sun rises in less than an hour those temperatures are going to respond pretty quickly so 40 right now looking live from waterbury toward the horizon you can see some of that brightening to the sky uh, and checking out our view from mystic as well uh, a quiet um, morning and looking downstream of the connecticut river also you can see uh, not quite as dark as it was just 30 minutes ago uh, from manchester we have 41 degrees jackie and higginham reporting 42 but uh, 49 meanwhile myrna and chaplin right at freezing 32 degrees so certainly a a big spread of temperature on this uh, Saturday mor Sunday morning across Connecticut, and there's not much happening region-wide. High pressure is in control, and that will be the case uh, for the next several days. So sunglasses, perhaps shorts and t-shirts, uh, one of those situations where, again, we've got those cooler mornings where you may need that extra layer, but you can shed them during the afternoon uh, given how warm temperatures are going. So low and mid-70s today inland and near 70 along the 95 quarter. And sunset today at 6.01, this is our last day with sunset sunset in the six o'clock hour as we continue to lose daylight heading toward the winter solstice. So certainly, uh, while it's not feeling like fall across Connecticut, certainly looking like it, we do have uh, uh, moderate uh, color, perhaps even reaching peak levels throughout the elevations there of northwestern Connecticut. So uh, you don't have to travel far to uh, see that nice show of color. In the realm of the tropics, we have Nadine that moved inland yesterday, but we're focused here now on Hurricane Oscar. Uh, this is the loop over the past six hours showing the progression west. We're doing so at around 12 miles an hour. Winds are 80, uh, so it's just to the northwest of Haiti, the Dominican Republic, heading toward Cuba. And the latest track from the National Hurricane Center brings it over eastern Cuba and then weakens to tropical storm moving north and then northeast through the Caribbean. So no threat to Florida, no threat to the east coast uh, of the U.S. So meanwhile, here in Connecticut, it's the temperature in the near term that's the big headline tomorrow. Uh, certainly a cool start, seasonably so, and then uh, quite not, a, not quite as chilly as this morning. And then we'll take a run at the 80 degree mark tomorrow afternoon. So for the Hartford area, the record high is 82. So it's going to come down to a degree or two tomorrow. So we're calling that near record warmth 85 on Tuesday. That will remain intact. Highs on Tuesday, we're forecasting near 80. 75 on Wednesday. We've got that front Thursday morning. The chances for showers pretty slim as we check out our model comparison. We'll be lucky if we get some scattered showers. Nothing meaningful. And then 60 to 65 Thursday. Then for Friday, highs in the upper 50s. And next weekend, looking to start on a bright note, Saturday highs back in the lower 60s.